Hey guys, this is Greg Strike Chen from Avid here at Guitar Center headquarters. Uh, we're gonna do some really cool stuff today. We're gonna actually gonna use Pro Tools and we're gonna get into building electronic music inside of Pro Tools. So uh, let's get right into it. So to start building our groove, you can actually see here, I'm in the Pro Tools editor range window, and I've got uh, Native Instruments Machina up here. Uh, that's primarily the, uh, the, the instrument I use to create all my drums. And you can see that I've already got a pattern populated here. Let's go ahead and give it a quick listen. It's a kind of a tech house techno groove, really kind of laid back, 125 BPM. So what I like to do, once I create, I pretty much kind of sketch pad all my grooves, my drum grooves inside of Machina, but I really like to do all my editing and arranging and continue to create inside of Pro Tools. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna do a MIDI drag and drop. You have the option of doing audio or MIDI. I already have a template laid out here with all my uh, MIDI outputs as well as my audio outs uh, set up in Pro Tools. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the uh, drag and drop function out of Machina and drag that pattern right here into Pro Tools. And now you can see that that pattern is living right inside of my editor range window. So I can actually now go ahead and delete the pattern here in Machina. And if we play it back here in Pro Tools, that pattern now lives inside Pro Tools. So before I move on, I've, I wanna go ahead and continue building on the groove. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these uh, MIDI clips here, and I wanna be able to treat them really as one. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and create a clip group, really powerful uh, feature inside of Pro Tools, and I've got a shortcut for it. Uh, Alt Command G. And now you can see here, uh, I've got one group that I can move around. I can duplicate really easily if I wanted to do that. Uh, but I actually like using the loop function. Option Command L gives me the loop function. And now I can use my trim tool and actually just pull it out. So I've got my, my drums here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more, more chunk to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this playing back. And it's gonna go ahead and loop back around. But what I'd like to do is go ahead and add maybe a couple of audio loops or maybe one or two percussion loops to kind of chunk up the drums a little bit. To do that, I've just brought up Soundbase, uh, which is our, our kind of a loop browser that we have built into Pro Tools since version 12.7. Uh, and uh, I've got some tags up here. So I'm, I want to quickly find, uh, we want some uh, drum elements. Uh, so I can just click a tag here. I can also type tags in. Maybe I'm looking for something that's percussive. So we've got some percussion loops. And once I hit the, click this metronome, I can now preview these loops in context in the right tempo. So let's see, we've got something here. So we've got kind of a skippy hi-hat loop there, and I like it, I wanna use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop that right into my editor range window. Get rid of that. And now my audio loop lives here. I can go ahead and turn it up with clip gain a little bit. And let's go ahead and duplicate that or loop that out a couple of times. And let's push it right up here. So now I've got my drums kind of pretty much ready. I want to continue uh, you know, moving along with my creation. So to do that, I'm going to use a couple of synths here. Uh, some virtual instruments, some from third parties, such as uh, UVI Falcon. We've got Hybrid from Air. And then built into Pro Tools, we've got Expand and Vacuum, which will handle like a string and um, a bass line. So let me get rid of these real quick. I'm going to go ahead and leave playback uh, happening here. Let's, let, let's go ahead and just have the main chunk of the drums playback. And I'm gonna quickly go in and uh, record a couple of bars worth of each instrument. So I'm just gonna select a couple of bars. I'm gonna record on my first instrument, which is hybrid. I'm gonna use my launch key here. And let's just go ahead and go right into record. So I should have a one bar count off. Now it's gonna keep looping back around those couple of bars. When I'm ready to go down to my, to my uh, next track, I just hit command, arrow down. I'm gonna go down an octave here, and now we've got our vacuum bass line, so let's go. All right, now we're gonna go again, command, arrow down, let's go and do something, a little hit on Falcon, and let's add a little hit. Keep going, command, arrow down, right into the strings on expand. Great. So now we've got a couple of synths, we've got a bass line, we've got some drums, and of course now you guys know that we can actually go ahead and clip group some stuff if we need to, make it really easy when we want to go ahead and uh, arrange. So let's go ahead and loop these as well. And of course, you can always undo if I needed to go ahead and, and do some sub subtractive editing. I just go ahead and use Option, Command U, and we're back to our original loops if you want to do some, uh, 
some editing. That's how we build a groove really simply using virtual instruments right inside of Pro Tools. I want to thank Guitar Center for having us out. This is Greg from Avid. See you next time.